5 everyday things making you obese, say experts. Have you fallen into these examples without acknowledging it? For quite a long time, the guidance for the individuals who need to shed pounds has been really straightforward, consume less calories, consume more, with the accentuation on the yield. In any case, ongoing exploration has tracked down that the way to weight reduction is more unpretentious. The nature of the eating routine is considerably more significant than the amount of calories, says Joanne Manson, MD, Dr. PH, educator of medication at Harvard Medical School and head of preventive medication at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Rather than checking calories of any sort, zeroing in on eating nutritious food sources that are more fulfilling is more viable. An excellent eating routine will consequently prompt better calorie control. You will eat food varieties with higher satiety, says Manson, a supporter of the new narrative Better, which clarifies how Americans can turn around the current pestilence of stoutness and diabetes. Yet, disregarding that exhortation isn't the solitary ordinary propensity that is making you hefty. Peruse on to discover more, and to guarantee your well-being and the strength of others, don't miss these sure signs you had COVID and didn't know it. 1. You're fixated on, calories in, calories out. With regards to forestalling heftiness, a great deal has to do with the nature of the eating routine and the different propensities that individuals can get into, like nibbling consistently, says Manson. In the film Better, there is a genuine exertion to assist individuals with improving the nature of their eating regimen, since it disproves this thought that weight control is just about as basic as calories in, calories out. It relates particularly to having an eating routine that is great. For instance, an eating routine that is hefty in handled food sources like chips and treats will expand an individual's glucose level, which will cause insulin spikes and lead to a regular feeling of appetite, regardless of whether you're working out like insane at the rec center. That long for more prepared food sources can thwart even the most committed long-distance runner. 2. You're eating foods that don't satisfy you. Food varieties like that don't will in general prompt satiety, so you will in general indulge, and the food sources are not nutritious, says Manson. An excellent eating plan is something like the Mediterranean eating routine, which stresses organic products, vegetables, fish and olive oil, while being low in red meat, prepared meats and handled food sources. 3. You're not snacking right. For a bite, on the off chance that you get eager during the day, you're having a small bunch of nuts rather than donuts or a sack of potato chips, says Manson. These are the sorts of dietary changes that can prompt more noteworthy satiety, lower complete calorie allow and simply improve nourishment. 4. You're not eating these kinds of vegetables. Non-dull vegetables and entire grains truly top you off, says Manson. Eating a greater amount of those vegetables and grains, rather than boring vegetables, like potatoes and peas, and white or handled flour items can forestall glucose spikes and crashes. Non-bland vegetables incorporate broccoli, Brussels sprouts, carrots, cauliflower, beans, mushrooms, salad greens, and these others suggested by the American Diabetes Association. 5. You're not moving enough. Ordinary practices that can build your danger of weight incorporate incessant eating, evening time eating, devouring food varieties, refreshments high in sugar and low in supplements, e.g., customary pop, significant stretches of sitting, and an absence of day-by-day -day workout, says Kirsten Davison, PhD, teacher and partner dignitary for research at Boston College. Indeed, even before the pandemic secured the greater part of us, just around 20% of American grown-ups got sufficient exercise, which the American Heart Association characterizes as 150 minutes of moderate power action, like energetic strolling, each week. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the Best for Health channel. To God be all the glory.